This is a review of the Runcam 2 Action Camera release version. The Runcam 2 costs $99 with free shipping and comes in two colors, silver and orange. It comes with a lens hood specially designed for FPV and it also helps reduce stray light and glare. It supports Wi-Fi for iOS and Android with a free app you can download and this can be used to preview and playback video plus change parameters and settings. The back cover protects a micro SD card and the 850 mAh battery from popping out during a crash. It supports 60 frames per second now and it only weighs about 49 or 50 grams and can take up to a 4S battery for power. It has anti-interference and effectively reduce RF interference. The Runcam 2 features low latency for the analog video output for use with FPV with only 60 milliseconds under 1080p and 40 milliseconds delay under 720p. The package includes the camera and the battery, a tripod adapter, a mount, a USB cable, and an adapter to convert your video to RCA, and the TV out and power cable. Also has two straps and Velcro, a tether, and the manual. You can purchase separately extra batteries and the GoPro type mount accessories. You might get the mount accessories free during a certain time period if your order number ends in 7. Going over the specifications, we have a 120 degree field of view, a 4 megapixel sensor, and we have these resolutions at uh, 30 and 60 and 120 frames per second. It uses a movie format, NTSC or PAL, has a micro USB connection, and up to a 64 gig card can be used for the SD card. It has 180 degree rotation, and this can also be auto rotated and that's the dimensions and of course the 850 milliamp hour lipo battery. Now it didn't come with a lens cap and sometimes I tend to get the lens smeared with my fingers but my son John created this lens cap and it fits right on like that. Now he used this CAD program called Tinkercad on the internet to design the cap and this is basically what it looks like. Then he printed it out on this uh, XYZprinting.com DaVinci Duo 2O printer and these are the settings he used. Next using the provided cables let's get into settings mode on the monitor. So I'm going to take uh, the video out right here and plug it into our adapter which goes over here to the RCA plug and then I'm going to plug the RCA plug into the video cord for the monitor. Then I'm going to plug the USB connection in like that and then we'll turn on the camera by holding the power button for three seconds and when we do that we have a picture on the monitor right here. but we want to get into the menu mode or settings mode so I'm going to long press it again there we go now we're in the menu mode and right now we can scroll down through the menus there is the movie size, wide angle, digital IS, and that's the stabilization. So if you want to turn the stabilization on, you can do that. This camera features stabilization. Whether you want it or not is up to you. Sometimes stabilization, if you're panning, can look kind of jerky. Other times it's very preferable. If you're just going around taking a video in your local area, you may want to put that on. Now you go down again, you can have the buttons beeping, which they already are, and then you got loop recording. Okay, so I went down a little further. We've got auto recording is off up here. Image flip is off, so you can actually flip the image if you want. You can also have the image automatically flip with the G sensor if you turn that on. And then you got the power saving, which I turned off previously. Now to go into one of the menus, you hit the Wi-Fi button, like that. And if I want to turn the power saving back on, say I want it to turn off in three minutes, I'll just do that, hit the Wi-Fi button again, now it's got three minutes. And that's your metering mode, where you can have it meter in the center, the average, or a spot metering. That might be good if you've got a bright light, 
and a dark background and you wanted to focus on the dark background maybe you'd use the spot so you could meter on the dark section that you want to look at. So one of the new features of the RunCam 2 besides the 60 frames a second is the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and try out the Wi-Fi right now. So what we got to do is hold the power button until it beeps. Okay, and then press the Wi-Fi button once. And that puts it in Wi-Fi mode. Now we'll launch the app. I'm using the Android app because I have an Android tablet. There is also the iOS version available for Apple. Okay, let's go ahead and connect right here. Alright, it didn't connect automatically, so let's go manually. Connect manually. I'll go to the run cam right here and hit connect. Let's go ahead and go back to the app. Now the app is up and you can see that I have a picture. You can use this for connecting to the camera up to around 30 feet. Go ahead and go through the features. So one of them is the configuration tab right here and um, in the configuration tab you basically have these features here power supply frequency which I have set to 60 right here and then you have date stamp you can turn that on and off you can do an image flip upside down if you want and then there's Wi-Fi settings that basically have your your username and password in there. The next category is right here and these are some more settings. You can basically turn your white balance either to auto or you can choose different settings here like uh, sunny or cloudy. There is also video resolution which you can set to any of these three. I've got it on 1080p right now at 30 frames a second. Also right here is time lapsed and these are your time lapse settings. Right now time lapse is off but you can turn it on and go in and set the number of seconds you want to take a frame and there's also a uh, time lapse length which is right now it could be five minutes but you can change that. So right now time lapse is off but it could be turned on. And so down here right now it's in uh, video mode and the way you can tell that I know it shows a picture of a camera down here instead of a video camera. It looks like you're going to take a picture, but actually it's in video mode right now and the blue light is on. So if you wanted to take a picture, you would press this button and then the green light would come on. Then you would hit this button here to take a picture. So there's the picture. And then I'll press this to go back into video mode. Now the light is blue and I can hit this to take a video. So this is the run cam. HD and this is a run cam too. Let's just take a look at how we start them up and then start recording. So I'm going to hold the button down on this one here and this one here. Okay so now we just wait for this one to get ready to initialize. Okay now they're both on. Now to start the recording we tap this button once on here and then the shutter button once on this one. Okay, now they're both recording. Now let's take them outside and do a little comparison. Okay, so here's looking towards the sun with both cameras. Going up and down. Back and forth in front of the sun. Now let's look away from the sun. You can see how that looks. Just like that. Okay, let's go down here and we'll do a quick field of view test. So there is the field of view. Now to get your files off the camera, all you have to do is plug in a micro USB cable in like that. The light will come on. Now hold the power button to turn on the camera. And then once the power button is lit up and this light is lit up, you tap the Wi-Fi button once, like this. Then 
it'll pop up on the screen with your file dialog right here. And what you can do is just go into the video folder here, and there's your movies. Now if you've now if you've upgraded to the new version 1.2 firmware, getting your files off will be even easier because you just need to turn on the camera and not press the Wi-Fi button. So that's one way to tell if you've upgraded your firmware. If you haven't upgraded your firmware and you still have 1.1, you will need to press the Wi-Fi button after turning on the camera to get the file dialog. So with the new firmware installed, just plug in the micro USB cable like that and then press the power button, hold it until the camera beeps. And that's all you have to do. The file dialog will then pop up after that. Here, play. 